Okay, so what if you actually had a video that you made and it actually has a stereo track? So basically, one track has the audio from your computer and then another track has your microphone. So how would you actually listen to this without bringing it into a video editor? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do this using VLC Media Player and also another player that I use on my operating system, which is Linux. And so I'm going to show you how to do that for both of these programs. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. And so here's the situation that I have. So this video that I recorded, I did it by using OBS. And whenever I did record this at OBS, I have it on two different tracks. So within my audio mixer, I have one track for the desktop audio and then another track for my microphone. So if I go here to the properties, right click and go to advanced audio properties, you see that my desktop audio is on track two and then my microphone is on track one. And whenever I bring it into a video editor like this, you're going to see both tracks available. So Caden Live is able to separate these two tracks. So if I were to listen to it now, it's going to have a combination of both the desktop audio and the microphone. So I'll go ahead and play that. Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. And then I could also mute it as well. So let's go ahead and mute my microphone track and then play this. And as you can probably hear, that is just the desktop audio, the game sounds from this. And then secondly, let's go ahead and listen to the microphone game, tracks. Games. Have a little have bit of fun. fun. Head to the, to the arcade. And all of this makes sense and it works well in a video editor that could actually separate these tracks out. But what if you actually brought this into a media player? How would this sound? Well, I'm going to show you what happens whenever you play this in VOC media player because this is something that I didn't realize was going to happen whenever I played this the first time. So I have the video right here. So if I open this with VOC, this is what's going to happen. So as you can probably hear, it has the game audio, the desktop audio, but I don't hear the microphone. Well, within VOC media player, you could actually choose which track that you want to listen to. And by default, it happens to choose whatever track comes up first. In this case, it's going to be the desktop audio. And this was something that I did not know existed. So initially, I kind of thought I made a mistake whenever I recorded this. However, when I brought it over to my video editor, I was able to see both tracks. So up here, there is a way that you could actually choose which audio track you want to listen to. So if you go up here to audio, and then you see audio track, you could choose which one you want to listen to. So the default is desktop audio. I'm going to go ahead and choose microphone. So let's go ahead and play that. So today, so today we're going to play, play some, some games. games. Hound. Hound. And as you could probably hear, there is my microphone audio. And you could go back to your desktop audio anytime. And that's all it is. I did not realize that that was available. And so it took me a while to try to figure that out. And this doesn't only uh, work this way at VOC Media Player, but it works in other media players as well. For fast website hosting and top-notch service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So let me show you another media player that I use and I use Linux Mint as my main operating system. So if you use Linux Mint as well, you might be using the default player. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. So this is a default player uh, within Linux Mint and it works the same way. It's only playing the desktop audio. And if you wanted to choose the other track, you could go up here and then go to audio track. And it doesn't name the track, but you notice that there's one track unknown and there's a second track unknown. So I'm going to choose this one. And now hey, that I play this, to another episode of geekoutdoors.com, there is the second track, which is my microphone. And so it's a really easy process and it works the same in both media players. And the reason why I chose VOC media player is because this is the one that most people use and it's the one that's available on every single platform. So if you just recorded your video in stereo and then you're wondering how come you only hear one track, well, that's the reason why you're going to have to choose a different track whenever you want to listen to it. And obviously, if you bring it into a video editor like Caden Live where it could separate these two tracks, then there's no problems there. So hopefully this helped you out if ever you're using a media player like VOC and you're wondering 
what happened to my stereo tracks well that's what you can do you could actually choose the track that you want to listen to so if you actually had any thoughts on this be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my obs tutorials and tips i do have an entire playlist i'll leave that in the description area as well and if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that i don't put out here publicly on my youtube channel then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Goal Content Creators Group. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.